Hello, welcome to uh, match four of this league. Um, we are currently two and one. I wanted to start this one before we find our opponent so I could talk about that last one. We played Merfolk, um, but they conceded all of a sudden out of nowhere. I guess they had an emergency or had to get off the computer post haste. Uh, so they conceded in a not necessarily unfavorable position for them in game two and then conceded the match in game three. Um, Kind of right off the bat, which has happened to me in real life. I have uh, been paired up against an opponent in paper at a Grand Prix, and uh, I was on Breach Titan then, and that player played through game one, trounced me uh, soundly, and um, then uh, while sideboarding for game two, they uh, a friend of theirs came up and whispered something in their ear, and then they immediately signed the match 2-0 in my favor and immediately left. Uh, so, you know, emergencies happen, things happen, but uh, you know, a win's a win, I suppose. And, uh, you know, things like that do happen in real life. So, not the most far-fetched thing. All right, Mishra's Bubble. Maybe Death Shadow, maybe Warza. They are targeting themselves. We will yield through this turn. Death Shadow. Oh, no, they it entered tapped. Okay, Warza. Is my guess. Uh, let's see what this turns into. gets um, I think this is going to get a mountain just so that all of our non-Valakut lands enter the battlefield untapped from now on that match that I had spoken of where the other player got up in the middle of it and left was also a Mishra's Bubble deck it was, a, it was War Prison which I am starting to really kind of see here <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of funny that we're talking about that against Mox Opal and Mistress Bobble and Watery Grave. Urza hadn't been released yet, so it wasn't Warza, it was just War Prison. Oh, that's new. Thopter Foundry. Um, okay. So we are in a touch of trouble here. Um... This search for tomorrow, I hate that this search for tomorrow has to grab a forest. Oh, I really don't want it to, maybe I wanted to grab a mountain. Because if we grab a mountain, then any green source or fetch land turns us on for Summoner's Pack Titan next turn. And it also leaves up double bolt in case they play Urza and have combo or something else going on. Um, if we grab forest, then uh, mountain and yeah, then mountains become bad draws. If we grab for it, if we grab forest, then forest becomes a bad draw, or not necessarily bad, but it's slow. If we grab mountain. Then four, then mountains become a really bad draw. I think I think we'll chance it. I want to leave with two bolts. This is dangerously close to a, or this is a war of invention on board right now. Um, if they have the mana to play uh, Urza, we will be in some amount of trouble. We've got four cards in hand, three cards in hand. They sack their Mishra's bauble. I guess, I guess that's a good sign. I don't really know what to make of that. It might, it might just not even matter since they've got so much mana and so many artifacts. Chromatic star. That's all right. We can live with that. Green source. All right. Um. Okay. So this is where it gets a little bit weird. 
Uh, this finds a Cinder Glade. Summoner's Pact. See what they want to do here. War of Invention. X equals two. Is there a two drop that stops me from searching my library? That'd be pretty cool. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Maybe they just get sort of the meek here and... Damping Sphere. Ooh, that's clever. That's a great, that's, that's very clever. Um, do I still want to get Primeval Titan or maybe Sakura Tribelder now and start throwing bolts? Because I'll be taking next turn off anyway. Yeah, we'll get Primeval Titan. And, uh, man, if I had a Simeon Spirit Guy to just get them with, that would be so cool. But, uh, that's okay. We'll take off next turn. If they somehow lift a Stomping Ground or a Cinder Blade on us, we are straight dead, but, you know, what are you going to do? Goblin Engineer. Um... That's unfortunate. This definitely gets sort of the meek. Do they have some way to make a one... Oh, yeah, they do. They can just start sacking... Uh... They can just start sacking things immediately to get Thopter Foundry online. So that's unfortunate. Um... We are now very behind the... You're very behind the eight ball here. All right, and now their man is up. Oh, why are they doing all this now? That seems a little weird. I mean, they can just do it at instant speed at the end of my turn. But uh, I, mean, I guess that's fair. This does straight open them up to anger of the gods, but. We have to pay four, um, so if we draw a land, we both throw a bolt and a, and then we can anger of the gods if we draw an untapped land here. Yes, that'll do. Uh, yes, I think we just go after them. And, uh, Anger of the Gods to buy ourselves just a little more t uh, time. All right, we go through this turn, and the race is definitely on. They hit Urza at any point in time. Uh, we pretty much lose. Oh, that's fun. Um... Oh, now they're waiting to do things at instant speed. That's fair. One, two, three, four, five. They know this is... Oops. They knew this was coming. I think we get two Valakuts. I think we just want to do maximum damage here. Um, we're not winning this turn. We are probably not winning next turn. And if they find Urza yet again, uh, they've got it <laughs> yet again. <laughs> so We might have the technology to win next turn between an attack here and another Summoner's Pact and two Bolts. Um, so this will definitely be very interesting to see how this shapes out. If they draw Urza, they win. Um, otherwise, I think we can hold our own. That's fair. Doesn't really do anything.
Oh, they're coming in hard. Yeah, they definitely... Okay, well, yeah, they can create all the blockers they want, so... Um, how much mana do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can gain seven life. We have to presume we're, we're going to have to beat them at 30 and through seven blockers. Eight. Okay, so eight, so they have 29 and eight blockers. Um, okay, I, I think we have to just try and try and brain them this turn. War of Invention would be pretty bad for us since they, that lets them go get, uh, what's it called? Snaring Bridge, but looks like they don't have it. We will definitely use it and just get our two mountains here. This puts death on the stack for them at least. Nope and nope. And save targets. Oh. They're not even going to try. Okay. <laughs> they could have gained a bunch of life, made a bunch of blockers, and tried to do some spiciness, but we had lots of backup here. Um, all right, so we'll go to game two. That was a tense game one. This is definitely a pretty close matchup. I think they are slightly favored. Um, every time I've played this matchup, it's been very, very close. Force of Vigor, Reclamation, Sage, Beast Within, a Braid. Uh, that doesn't stop. Players can't cast spells, creature cards, and graveyards. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Relica Progenitus, Engineered Explosives. Uh, Rurik Thar, we definitely want the full gamut here. We don't want Anger of the Gods. That's way too slow. We don't want Forest. I don't think we're getting blood mooned. Um, lightning bolt is, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. I don't think we want it here though. The only creature we're really worried about is Urza and Sai and at four toughness, just hoping on two lightning bolts is really not going to do it. And we are on the draw, so I think we can cut a Sakura Tribe Elder since none of our creatures really interact with any of their creatures besides the construct that Urza makes. So we'll try this. And hope it's enough. I mean, we have an overwhelming amount of... We have, a, we have an amount of removal that kind of waters down our game plan. We have to hope that it's enough that we can draw the game out to a win. Uh, that whole game went without them seeing a Simeon Spirit Guide or Through the Breach, so maybe we can surprise them. Um, but uh, with, with blue decks, you have to presume there's going to be Force of Negation hanging out somewhere. Uh, we'll keep this. It's got a bit of a little bit of ramp. It's got a little bit of combo, it's, and it's got a little bit of sideboard. So it's kind of a, it's, it's a very underwhelming hand, but... I don't see what option we have. Will you do this turn? I think they want to get the weird semi scry. Yeah, they didn't like what they saw, so they get a base, so they use their fetch land and. Okie doke. So we draw Rurikthar. Oh, that's cute. So we play Valica tapped and yield through this turn. I think next turn we want to just engineer explosives for two and just leave that up forever. <laughs> Collective Brutality, that gets Summoner's Pact, okay. And well reveals that we've got engineered explosives, but yeah. What can you do? What can you do? This gets a stopping ground. We will pay life. Engineered explosives will definitely pay green and red. And X is currently two, so that works. And, and now we've actually got a secret 
Well, now that the secret's out with Simeon, as far as Simeon Spirit Guide is concerned, uh, they probably know we're on the breach plan, but we do have two of them now, unbeknownst to them, so we can, if they try to do something spicy, just ignite engineered explosives immediately. Boy, this is a slow hand for them. Um, search for tomorrow, we'll definitely cast. That finds a mountain. Let's see what they want to do here. Um, Mox Opal's a good draw for them. That's Urza. And that makes a big dude. And we have a big dude of our own. And, um, well, let's, let's see if we pay for that with our lives. They do have a, a small window here to, man, I wish this was another Simeon Spirit guy. They do have a small window here to just win the game, I suppose, uh, by gaining infinite life. And then Rorikthar really doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Oh, this looks like a uh, war of invention. Oh, oh, he's just going to, he's going to go for a random thing. And he definitely should not cast that under Rurikthar, for sure. <laughs> definitely should not do that. Oh, he's going for it. They're going for it. All right, all right, all right. Go for it. It does make their construct a little bit better. It draws them a card, I suppose. Um, and since Rurikthar has to attack, they, with a... Yeah, woof, that's, I don't, I don't think that's the right call there. I think they just let that go um, and try to buy time until, oh man, this can't be right. Although now it does make uh, the construct uh, big enough to, to do things and he's, and they've got no two drops for engineered explosives to, well, that's unfortunate, but Let's see what we can draw here. Um, so they definitely do the Urza construct block. And in that event, we definitely go after Urza first. I think we can six ourselves here in an effort to oh, let me think of, let me think this through. Um, Relic of Progenitus. Mm, mm, mm. Relic of Progenitus draws us a card. The only card that we would want is either Force of Vigor or a Braid, which would get them pretty hard. What else? Or Reclamation Sage or Summoner's Pact. Okay, there are a number of draws here. We can definitely, we can definitely six ourselves to, uh, and maybe even 12 ourselves to try this. That's not good. Um, all right, well, they'll be, I guess they'll be minus an Urza Lord, Lord High Artificer. There's really no way around what's about to happen next, I suppose. Urukthar must attack. Yeah. Uh, assign blocking order. We, we like this blocking order. Four, two, like that, yeah. 
and I think for main two, we don't really want to get got by a flurry of artifacts to lose the game. So we'll play out our Simeon Spirit Guide and just chump block with it. And then we'll pass turn here. I think this construct attacks and we snap block. Just keep our life total high and let that be that. And see what their follow up is. Mr. Daryl Ayers. Mistress Bobble is gone. Come on, Primeval Titan. Ensnaring Bridge, maybe? What does this get? Sword of the Meek. All right, well, that's a start, I suppose. Um... That is a great draw. Exactly what we were hoping to see. We will start here, go here. Uh, Primeval Titan, definitely cast it here. Green, green, red, 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 red. This gets a Valica and a Mountain. Valica and a Mountain. And then we... Uh, here's the thing. I want to get rid of this construct because I'm still worried about it. Um, actually, I think it's okay. With Windswept Teeth being able to start throwing bolts at instant speed, I think we have pretty firm control of the game here. Arkham's Astrally was a redraw for them and it boosts their construct, but it doesn't really do anything. They need a way to get this Primeval Titan off the board. Thopter Foundry, now that's, that, that does something. That definitely does something. Oh boy, see here, there's that flurry of artifacts. Um, I think any top deck really, well, not really any top deck even. Um, they definitely got four mana. Yeah, we definitely have to block here. I think with engineered explosives, um, being able to f do tricks at instant speed, um, ooh, are they going to do the whole thing right now? <sighs> Let me see. They can do one, two, three, four, five right now. This puts us in a position where we have to either bolt this uh, construct now, like throw two bolts at it, because they can do one, two, three, four, five. So they can make it a 12-12 with six damage marked on it. 
Oh, but they'll have a bunch of creatures anyways. I think that... Oh, man, this is so hard. Here's what I'm thinking. If we go to our turn and draw a land or a... Well, we'll be four mana short, so we'll be one, one, two, three. So these will be tapped down. If we draw any land, we can play it, throw bolts here, and uh, they will then try to respond by doing this combo. We can probably play around with our own engineer. Oh, this is so hard. I think we'll just pass turn here. Yeah, well, we knew that was coming. Two, three, four. All right, this is, I think this is what we wanted, right? Um, let's see how they react to this. Oh, I think that was a, mm. well then let's really see how they react to this. Cause we're gonna put the bolts there. I think in response, we will now ignite this. And then I think in response, we will ignite this. pretty much yield through this turn. <laughs> They'll have to use a fetch land in order to really go crazy, which I think might keep their life total in place. Yeah. And then that's it for their mana. Okay. And then we say yes and yes and we win. Awesome. That was tense. Whew, that was some tight sequencing. <laughs> I don't know if that was uh, the best sequencing from our part, but um, the math worked out just well enough that I think we kind of had that either way. All right, see you in the next one.